Hi everybody, my name is Chris and you're watching the Crazy Baloo Chris channel. Today we are looking at the Z4 Grenadiers from the Trederen Auto World expansion from the Shadows of Brimstone. And if you like it, give a thumb up, subscribe and hit the bell button. You already saw eventually the first video from me, so uh, this is basically the speed up and shortcut version from the first one. So the first uh, step we take is uh, gun metal. I use here the uh, from the army painters um, range, but you can use anything else, whatever you want. So in here we are painting all the silver and metal parts on the miniature. The barbed wire, the gloves, the chest and the eyes. And this is what it looks like. The next color is the Spacos Gray. This is for the uh, clothing, the helmet and uh, some other small parts from the miniature. Um, the main thing you should um, consider is that you work fast, as fast as you can, that you get no pooling from the contrast paint. Next for the leather is Gore Grunterfur. I'm still using my uh, number two brush. And also here is the best way to keep focused and only the leather straps. But it, it isn't that a big mistake if you um, paint uh, the other thing as long as uh, everything is wet you can change it next color is yellow this is just for the for the goggles um, there i switch to the one brush because it's a little bit smaller and i want to be a little bit more precise for the next step i use contrast black templar uh, this uh, z4 grenadier is the only one who got underneath his armor um, a black clothing so uh, and black boots as well so uh, here also I just thinned a little bit down the the contrast paint that it's a little bit more flowing very well on the model uh, here are the boots and that's it ready to rock and roll the next step is for the base I use Wildwood, Militarum Green, Gore Grunter 4, Snakebite Leather, Agarus Dunes and the bases are from uh, Tabletop Art EU. So they make really, really cool bases. So check their website out. <clears throat> if you, I mean, um, they, are, they are a little bit costly, but um, they are look fantastic and you can cut corners while painting. So in here I go really wide. I always use more color and thin it down with just plain water or the 50-50 mix to keep it really runny and to blend it uh, all together while it's wet. And you see, I just really go wild, slap on some color, try to experiment. Here's the green from the cam camouflage net on the floor. And the next step, we are making the oil wash with burnt umber. So always wear your mask and gloves. First step is just a tiny bit of uh, burnt umber with white spirit. Mix it very well together, then get a runny consistency like this. And then be brave, slap it on. Just really thick, just do it. And uh, when you're ready, it looks something like this. Uh, you can remove, if it's pooling too much, remove it. For the next step, I use this uh, makeup sponges and uh, a brush. A th synthetic brush so dab it in not too much white spirit on the sponge because otherwise you you get rid of everything from the oil wash and just gently dab it on making soft soft movings uh, and and leave the oil wash in the crevices so that's before uh, that's after and on the right side it's before well it's a little bit too much but you always can go back the next is the rust streak from AK interactive and uh, here's the same thing. Just put everything where you think it's a little bit rusty, put on the ML wash. 
you can always remove it with a, a white spirit, so be gentle. And uh, for this step, I use the brush and just stipple on and removing just step by step. Only small parts, very, very gentle. So you can you can see it's uh, the changing for the for the big parts uh, you can use uh, tips and for the smaller parts you can use your brush so whatever you think it works better for you just try it here so I go back and forth with the brush and the Q-tip so whatever works best for the surface and uh, take your time. And if you remove too much, it's no problem. You can always go back and forth with a with a rust streak. So, and here we go. They set for Grenadiers in her full glory, ready for battle. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, give a thumb up, subscribe, and hit the bell button.